What's up guys, it's Alec back one on one and as you can tell I have another unboxing for you guys. This is actually a pretty cool gun. I'm super excited for this. Um, actually it's interesting because I have a new um, unboxing coming soon that one of my other biggest unboxings and it also has to do with this gun so you'll just have a little tidbit there. Um, but this is the upper, looks like it came with a top ladder row cover. I traded this for one of my friends. Um, the War Sport flash hider is upside down right now. It doesn't have the gas block on it, the rail is right there. Not super important. Let's see the hop up. Looks pretty good so far. Pretty good fucking impression. Um, we got a Crytac stock here, um, which is pretty good. I like the Crytac stocks a lot because they hold a lot of, sp like, just really easy to access the battery, as you can tell by right here. And then I also do a full review on the gun later. Um, but it has a nice battery, so it can fit a ton of freaking stuff in there. Um, lower. Oops. Also, T1, he included a T1 in the package, and I think a light bulb. Yeah, so here is the upper, or this is the lower. So, bolt catch, still good. You can see that there's the Crytac gearbox, which is pretty nice. War Sport lowers. I'm gonna have my tech put that together because it's his job. Um, we'll open this T1 right here. I have no idea what brand this T1 is, but I love T1s. I think they're pretty good, so I'm gonna go ahead and see. How good it is. I think it has a battery. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Um, it's actually exactly like my other T1 that I have on my system right now, which is pretty nice. So green, looks like green, and then it also has a red, five adjustment powers for each, nothing where it says brand wise, um, but it has like the little clip, you have to unclip it and then clip it in for it to work. Also, he included a Venom uh, 1230C 7.4 LiPo, which is pretty nice. Tactic Power uh, is apparently the brand that makes this or whatever, um, but this is a decent LiPo. It's actually really, really small. This could fit in so many different things. That's one of the things I really like about LiPo specifically. Um, we'll go ahead and put some Crytek stock on here. Uh, they have like a fuse system in the back, MOSFET ECU that I'm pretty excited for. I think will be good. Um, I, I've heard, just heard a lot of really good things about Crytek. This is actually the first one that I have gotten. I have wanted one before and always was kind of like, yeah, I might get one. Oh shoot, I have to use the pin to put the stock on. Um, but yeah, this is what the War Sport LVOA looks like. That's pretty dope. I like the rail system a lot. It feels really comfortable in the hands. Um, and I like, uh, let's see that. It sounds really, like it's cool. That's a, that's, that's a pretty nice sound. But you kind of hear that and it's like, what? Uh, don't worry guys, full review of this will be coming soon. This is actually the Crytek Gen 2 grip. They have a nice little trigger guard there, which just kind of happens like a coal, uh, like a, the, hey, I'm going to cut this open and just weird. It's kind of like the KAC style ones, but it also, I don't know if they're trying to like save weight. This is actually a pretty heavy gun. Like it feels really solid. The rail system I'm sure weighs a lot. I don't know if it's a steel or aluminum barrel. Um, I really like the trades on it though. It looks good. Serial number, uniquely serialized on there. You got Ambi selector switches and stuff. But yeah guys, pretty cool. Thanks for watching this video. This has been Alec Mac 101. A full review will be on this gun soon. See you guys later.